Now, here's something I never thought I'd ever come to it uh, on Bludging on the Blind Side, but the North Sydney Bears are in crisis after a boardroom coup. Now, <laughs> what are they doing? No, no. Why are they meeting? <laughs> what, what, got, what's on the agenda? Well, you've got to go back a bit <laughs> and explain that the North Sydney Bears were a foundation club. Yes, all those they years were. Ago, 1908. Yeah. Yep. They haven't played as part of the NRL for many years. Oh, but no, decades, decades, decades. decades. I mean, when did Greg Florimo? Well, they're 90s players, aren't they? Yeah, or late 80s even. Late 80s, I'm sure. Yeah, they were playing in the late yeah. 80s, I'm not sure. Anyway, as mentioned, the North Sydney Bears are in crisis after, wait for it, a fiery annual general meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll... Well, I can understand it getting fiery. <laughs> when are we going to get a team? <laughs> when do we play the Roosters next? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that will likely result in their chief executive, I didn't realise that, chief, <laughs> chief executive, <laughs> chairman, I could understand, two directors and a major sponsor walking away from, as described here. Major sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah. sponsor, which cheese is sponsoring the bears? Well, <laughs> <laughs> now, this is, um, I was just wondering if this could be part of the uh, a subplot oh, yeah. in Underbelly Rabbit's story. Oh, yeah. What happened to the bears? Yeah, what happened to the bears? Now, yeah. uh, Daniel Dickinson, mm. uh, Dickinson, or Dixon rather, was ousted in a political coup staged by a cohort of disaffected members on Tuesday night. That's last Tuesday night. Mm. His removal and the appointment of Ross Ros Dare as director has angered key people in the boardroom and across the executive to the point where several are poised to tender their resignation. Nine media personality, James Bracey, has already quit. Yeah. Fellow director Billy Moore. Billy has, Moore, he was a bear. He was, you forget that. And a Queenslander. Yeah. Uh, has told those close to him he plans to follow suit. While Chief. What, Billy Moore's leaving? Yeah, the bears. That is big news. Whoa. As ex, uh, Chief Executive is also expected to leave. Major backer, Stonemasons and Landscapers, which punch, pumps more than 150,000 per annum into the bears, mm. is poised to pull the pin as a result of developments. Well, the lack of developments, obviously. Mm. Several other key figures across the organisation are considering their position. It's disappointing given the trajectory we uh, we were on, <clears throat> on for this to take place, Dixon said, pointing to a turnaround uh, that uh, took the club from a deficit of 74000 mm. to a profit of 184000 during the COVID-affected financial year. Now, what well, were they spending? a miracle. I know. What were they spending the money on? They don't have a team? No, they, they don't. don't have any... Well, ground. you've got to pay the board, haven't you? Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> There's a rogue group who celebrate football but throw stones. Mm. We've gotten the club to the stage where we thought we'd be an attractive partner if anything came through uh, the NRL. That's our goal. The worst thing is the skill set that will be lost means the new board will not be able to do what we're currently achieving. Now, I'm not sure what we're currently... <laughs> what are they achieving? Exactly. Oh. Dixon and Moore said they joined the board as fi- sponsored directors rather than those who qualify with a three-year membership. Mm. Now, it gets a bit wobbly from there, but yeah. <clears throat> rugby league b- business, an emotional game. Right. But having to, the quality of the people we've had at the Bears has been a real bonus. Yeah. It's unfortunate this has happened. Uh, Bracey, Dixon, Moore are some highest quality human beings and operators I've ever met, said uh, Perry. Right. Okay. All right. Well, more questions than answers. The projection they're on is a sort of road to nowhere, isn't it? Well, I would have thought so. You know, I mean, I don't want to be unkind. Maybe they're doing things we don't know about. Can well, I, obviously, there must be. Do they, have they got a team playing somewhere that we've never heard of? Can I ask what their In mission... what competition? Oh, where, no. where were they playing? They're not Group 10 or Group 8. You know, a busload of bears turns up. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Ask, is, are they in uh, Flegg and... Uh, I don't know. Flegg and uh, what's the second... SG com- Ball. SG Ball, that sort of stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> now, the only thing, I wonder what their mission is. Do they have is. dreams of coming back in to be the second team in Brisbane? Is that what they're imagining? The Brisbane Bears? I like that. Now, can I point out um, New South Wales Cup? Are they in playing. the New South Wales Cup? Yeah, fair okay. enough. Right. Now, look, can I just point out that the difficulty here is is that they did try to go to be the Central Coast Bears. Oh, they did too, yes. What and, went wrong um, there? They, they, I thought the Central Coast would have loved them there. And wasn't there some suggestion pre-Central Coast that yeah. they would join forces with Manly Seagulls and become the Manly Seagulls Bears? Mm, a bit yeah. complicated. Bit, yeah, it bit, is, isn't it? A bit the hard. nomenclature. Yeah. But, um, yeah. 
I'm not sure what to suggest. I'm not sure what to suggest either, but, but boy... I'm just happy, though, that some people have still got rugby league dreams because this will be a theme on September the 8th. Yes, yeah, so exactly. Now, there will be a special row for bears. Oh, yes. bears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. If Billy Moore is, is going to come, that'll, that'll be fantastic. Mm. If he's got his old bears uniform, if Greg Frolimo could make his way back from New Zealand, uh, Fred Arcoy might be another one. Hugh McGarn. Hughie did McGarn. He, did he play bears? He did. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. New Zealand well, be a very emotional day, H.G., when you look across. Hey, Joe, what can you see now? Oh, I'm looking at the bears. 